12 people were killed last night at a Southern California bar, one of which was Sergeant Ron Helis, who responded to the call. The bar was holding a weekly country music dance night that attracts college students around the area. The shooter has been identified as 28-year-old Ian David Long and is reportedly dead. Police say Long forced himself into the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks, California late last night. After shooting the bouncer, witnesses say they escaped by using chairs to break windows. More than 100 people were in the bar at the time of the shooting. There is currently no known motive. Several people lost their lives last night, and so now is a time for community prayers and sympathy, and our thoughts go out to the family. It's my understanding that notifications are still taking place. So last night and today is going to be a very, very difficult day for many, many people. Flags are being flown at half-staff today in honor of the victims. Arizona State University Police are continuing their active shooter training designed to remind students and officers what to do if the worst happens. I talked to ASU police officer behind these training sessions to find out more. The Arizona State University Police Department holds active shooter trainings along with an informative video about what to do in that situation. We would like to encourage all of our students, staff, faculty to watch the video to get the main points of run, hide, fight, what their options are in the event of uh, an active shooter or an act of violence happening. Police officer Becky Garcia says it's crucial to always be aware of your surroundings. We need to utilize all of our senses at all times. We need to make sure that we know our location, we know our closest exit, um, that we know who's around us, so we're not just, you know, buried in our technology. Officer Garcia says it's important to fight for your survival. If you ever have to, if you find yourself in that situation and you find yourself, you know, you have no choice but to engage because that person's intention are to hurt you, kill you, whatever, you've got to give 100 um, percent uh, effort and utilize whatever you have to um, to go home that night. You can attend ASU PD active shooter training throughout the year. You can sign up on their website.